Hi everybody and welcome to the flute practice. It is Monday again and we are back into the practice work seat and we are going to be starting today with Tafano Gobe number one. This is the day that I'm finally going to say to you let's get those fingers like really moving. Uh, still not about just like senselessly playing fast but I do want you to start like pushing on speed and allowing those fingers to move uh, starting slowly and building it up building it up building it up I want these fingers to, to really get going and this is a great exercise for it so let's get into it once again a great way to practice this exercise is with the metronome just to make sure you are really being like even and regular and like not rushing and running away so we're not wanting to we don't want that kind of thing we really want it to and really listening e and f are those combinations really working And so on and so forth guys I love this exercise it is so much fun you are going to be listening like an absolute I don't know what animal listens really 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 well but you're gonna have like the ears that an eagle has eyes and just like you know eyes of an eagle ears of an eagle maybe you guys can think of something that listens well <laughs> maybe a dog I guess a dog listens well but you're gonna hear every little detail in your playing and every little moment where up ah, there was irregularities you probably heard some in my playing now it's fine to have them but you've got to pick up on them and try and fix them as you go listening 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 sometimes even repeating little bits if you're finding like you are not quite getting there there's really not much more to say about this exercise it's kind of very self-explanatory what I do want you to do when you get those tricky combinations especially the sort of cross C and D area and also in the high register, I want you to not be afraid just to slow it right down. It doesn't have to all be the same speed. Slow it down and slowly just unknot those little areas. For those beginners, some of you are beginners, some of you can't do all of the stuff. I want you to just select some of them that you can do. So like for example, the starting on D, maybe even just stick to that opening one. <laughs> For some of you that is more than enough. Some of you are even going to do this very slowly. That is also fine. So once again as we have been doing this whole series tailoring it to where you are at to what you can do and not you know don't try and be Superman when you're just a man. That sounds really discouraging. No don't do that. <laughs> don't try to run when you are still learning to walk. You need to do those, you know, beginning steps before you can get to the rest. So guys, have fun with this. Enjoy getting those fingers moving. Enjoy getting back into this awesome, wonderful work week. Until tomorrow, everyone, happy practicing, happy active finger moving, and see you then.